So how did you make this movie back in? <laughs> I'm looking at it and just wondering, this was pre-digital? This No computers? Where did this idea come from and how did it happen? Uh, we started in uh, 1981. We wrote a couple of drafts, so we've been at it 30 years. <laughs> Not that it shows. <laughs> Jeffrey and Michael Eisner came in. Um, they then went through all the archives, I guess, and somehow it found its way to Steven. And we had done a movie together. We did Back to the Future together. And he, you know, he said, you know, I read this. He said, I read this, uh, this crazy screenplay over at Disney. And I, he said, Roger Rabbit said, oh, I said, I know that. I know that screenplay. And um, we kind of looked at each other and we said, could, could we actually do this? You know, pull this off. <laughs> Well, there were a lot of moments. The yeah. studio had serious moments where they didn't think we were going to get it done. But yeah, there were moments the whole, you know, I remember when I went in, I tried to figure out what's the, the peak capacity for ILM, you know, on a, 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 in order to get this movie done. And that's, and how many weeks can they sustain that? And that was really what we were really flying by the seat of our pants to get this thing done. I mean, they, everyone told us you had to lock the camera down. Yeah, there right. were all these rules associated with how they did it on right. Mary Poppins or right. you know, something right. like that. And, and because that's the only other that comparable and, thing I can right. think of. Yeah, or Pete's Dragon or something. So we, I learned really quick on this movie, you just say yes. You just say, you want to move the camera? Yes, move the camera. You want to have <laughs> Jessica's dress glitter? <laughs> yes, we'll figure that out. <laughs> and uh, we didn't have a clue how we would do it. But um, by moving the camera, it meant we had to animate on ones, which meant we had to do 24 drawings instead of 12 drawings a second. Mm -hmm. And it w there were no computers, so there, were, there was no tracking software. That was all done by hand, and, and it was like pencils and paint. And, and the, the most amazing technology was I got a fax machine halfway through the wow. production, <laughs> which I turned off right after I got it. So We thought that Jessica would be like one of the classic movie stars, you know, like... Uh, with a bigger chest, really. Right. I mean, it's kind of surprising to see how big all those things are in the movie. Uh, it seems kind of immature when you look back on it. I, w I was amazed at how naughty we were when we saw this movie. I mean, how did we get away with that, Pop? It was the 80s. You know, one, th you know, one, one thing I wanted to say well, was when we first... Couldn't make we this first, movie today. <laughs> well, when we first uh, started working on it, we had a big problem as to how to convey the fact that uh, humans did, you know, commingle with uh, cartoon characters. And Roger was not uh, famous, you know, it, only in our minds. So we, we, uh, we thought, well, how do we, how do, we do this? So uh, Peter and I wrote that cartoon. And that cartoon was always, a, from the very first draft we ever wrote, uh, was always how the movie started, because it introduced Roger and baby Herman and their relationship. I came onto it a little bit later. Uh -huh. uh, when I came onto it, when I flew to London, the guys were finishing up the cartoon. Okay. And I started on, on the ostrich scene. That was my first scene. Straight from the airport, Richard Williams, here's your first scene. Welcome to London. Uh, right, right, <laughs> and right. that was the ostrich one. That was right. my first one. The very first shot that was finished in in complete animation was the chili bottle sliding down the shelf to the camera mm. from the opening cartoon. Yeah. That was you know, so that was the very first thing we could get something done, and it was a very elaborate hand drawn shot because its perspective is moving right, mm -hmm. and so it was all done by hand, and its perspective, and it was all done in London, and they spelled the word chili wrong. <laughs> <laughs> It had it had two L's in it. The whole shot had to be had to be had to be redone. That happened. Well, you could just use the computer so that's to a, change so, it, right? And I, I didn't think. I, and that's the kind of memory flashbacks I was having watching the movie. <laughs> that, just now. It, what was the set like? But what? I wasn't really playing against nothing because Charlie was in a rabbit suit every day. Really? So he was. And yeah, so because I I remember he hearing there. something that that <laughs> Charles that you invent something called trans. Projectional acting? Yes, yeah, that's correct. <laughs> we call it TPA on the set. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but so you created that? Well, I don't think there had been an opportunity for it to arise previously. So okay, how, how did it work? What is, what is transprojectional acting? How does that Well, it's where you're off camera with mm -hmm. a special microphone, and you're watching what's going on in the set, and projecting yourself into that space. So if Bob were to, Bob Hoskins were to grab my ears, I would have to react to that. Hence the projection. 
he he hit himself on the head on the camera a lot <laughs> as he was projecting. I saw him jump up and bang his head. So the, so the speech impediment it. after it had already been employed, they mm -hmm. informed me that they needed a speech impediment of some kind. You have to. <laughs> All classic cartoon characters have to have a speech impediment. So, yeah. <laughs> and the good ones were mostly taken. So. <laughs> You know, you don't want to impede on someone's impediment, <laughs> which is not recommended to even say. Uh, and then I, I guess because of Hunts Hall, uh, seeing him go, yeah. and I used to do bits about the aliens and horses, and <laughs> that came into the, the play, and Bob Z uh, and, approved. And you put it all together, and what's it sound like? Please. <laughs> Tipper, I could never do it here. Not at the Academy. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.